Hey guys, good morning, welcome back. So I am in the kitchen, it is already noon, but I'm finally going to eat something for the day, actually drink something. But right now, just making my protein shake with the last of this oat milk. Oh boy, it's gonna be a little bit bigger than I want, but. Scoop of my favorite brownie batter protein, link below. Do a banana and some peanut butter. So I had the regular size of blend jet and I always felt like it wasn't big enough. So then they released this like wide mouth one that you just use your same blender. It's just an attachment and it's 32 ounces. So, so I got these color changing cups from Amazon and they just changed colors based off of like if it's hot or cold. And I don't know why, but when it dried, it dried off spotty. Oh, this is a big smoothie. So yeah, now it's purple. Oh, they're kind of cool, it was like a six pack off of uh, Amazon, I'll link them down below. I seen someone else share them and I was like, ooh, I need to get those. All right guys, I'm leaving the library. I'll show you what I got when we stop. So Carly's not feeling that great. She's a little bit under the weather and she was so mad when she got up finally today looked in the refrigerator and Chase had eaten what was left of the chicken gnocchi soup that we got from Olive Garden yesterday. We ended up kind of just having a pretty chill day on Sunday and Carly was like, you know what I want? Cause she, her throat was kind of hurting. She wasn't feeling that great yesterday either. And I was like, what do you want? And so we ended up just getting soup and salad from Olive Garden. So then she was so upset that soup was all gone. She's like, now you need to go to the store and get stuff to make your white bean chicken chili, which I'm pretty sure I just made like a week or so ago, but she wants it again. And Ken was just laughing because I was writing the ingredients down on my list. And he's like, oh my gosh, whatever Carly wants, Carly gets. And I'm like, well, you know how it is when you don't feel good and you're just, a certain something sounds tasty like that's all you want so I was already going to the grocery store anyway so it's not like I'm changing my whole day just for the purposes of getting her stuff to make soup but usually I just take chicken breasts in the crock pot and let them cook and just shred them but I'm just gonna buy a chicken already done from the deli or maybe I'll just buy Roots shredded chicken that'll be even easier. She's like, honestly, I don't even care if there's chicken in it. She just wants the broth and the beans and the corn. So maybe I'll just get the small container. You guys ever buy that Roots shredded chicken where you eat it like on, on a bun? So week one of eating healthy went pretty well. The weekend was a little bit more rough just because like Saturday we helped Andrew move. So we we're kind of eating on the road. And then Sunday we did get the Olive Garden salad and soup and there's nothing wrong with that I mean I'm sure that chicken gnocchi soup isn't the worst thing for you but I wouldn't have like made that to necessarily eat because I was just trying to do such strict eating that first week which I did get a lot of well not a lot but a few comments of people saying the reason why you you fail at these diets is because you try to eat too strict and not allow yourself to have any of the things that you enjoy and the thing is is that I thought maybe I explained it but maybe I didn't I just go really hard strict in the beginning because it's easier to just say okay you're absolutely not eating this that or the other instead of trying to like justify why am I eating this why am I eating that well because this goes with this and I gotta have a little bit of rice and I gotta have this and I gotta have that and rather than just sitting there trying to like play games with my mind I just keep it strictly meat and vegetables meat and vegetables like that's it is it realistic to think like that's how I'm gonna eat for the next six months no but it's just what works for me when I'm first starting out so yeah week one came and gone wasn't that hard felt like I ate plenty I really like when you get to that point where you are eating healthier so your stomach feels less bloated so then when you do eat you fill up a lot quicker and you just feel better like I love that initial kind of shock that you do to your body and that's kind of what last week was about I swear in parking lots I try to park far away and then it never fails that some 
person has to come park next to me so annoying okay so one of the library books that i got i put on hold never lie and i got the email that it came in or that it was ready for me to pick up so far by frida mcfadden and i read the housemaid and then the housemaid secret um both of them are in kindle unlimited and i'm sure you can get the books too but that's where i read both of them the housemaid i rated four stars housemaid secret five stars both of those that i read were really twisty thrillers so i'm like i want to read more of her books and this one had a good rating so i reserved this one what i've been doing lately is if i see a book that i'm like oh I th i'd like to read that the old candy used to right away add it to her list next time you go to the bookstore pick it up and my shelves were just going nuts with way too many books that I was never going to read. A year would go by and I'm like oh my god now a truck is coming in to squeeze into the spot. What the frick? Alright I'm moving my car now. Anyways what I was saying is then what would happen is the book would sit on my shelf for a year and then I'm like I'm never going to read this because there's all these other books that I want to read now. So I find out this works better. However I have noticed that I've been adding so many books to my like library list that if the book's not available at the library yet then I request a hold and then by the time it comes available for me to go get it I keep reading library books instead of reading the books that I have at home but that's okay and then this gal on my Instagram had suggested that I read this book it's by Holly Jackson this is a young adult thriller it's five survive it's the author who wrote a good girl's guide to murder it says eight hours six friends only five I've survive so she said it was really good and she wants my opinion on it so I was like oh I'm going to my library tomorrow I'll see if they have it and they did okay that really was not fun I went all the way in the store there were no carts in there so I had to come all the way back out and it was like misty rain just blowing so hard and then walking around the store I just felt like I was having a hot flash the whole entire time to take my sweater off because I thought I was going to die. And then I got two things of like, I don't know, whatever that is. The like big roll, 16 mega rolls of Angel Soft. And I just got three of them because I like to just think of toilet paper as least often as possible. So when I buy it, I just like buy several of them. So then we're good for a while. And the lady at the cashier is like, a problem at your house? Like, what did she think I was going to say? Yeah, there's six of us and we all have diarrhea. I mean, it was kind of funny. She's just a sweet older lady, but... All right, heading home. So, hey everyone, it is Carly. I'm in my room right now. I'm not sure if you can tell, but I am sick right now. So, firstly, I want to apologize for how I look and for how I sound. It is so hard for me to talk right now. My throat has just been extremely scratchy it was yesterday morning that i actually woke up with a very sore throat my boyfriend actually woke up we woke up at the same time both sick so it was kind of like clearly one of us gave the other person something i'm not exactly sure what it is but he seems to be doing better already but i just seem to be getting worse i swear it's just because i have a horrible immune system every time i get sick i can't just be like oh just one day of like not feeling well it's literally gonna last for like a week and it's just gonna get worse that's literally what happens to me every single time but i did take a cold today i don't have cold. and my throat was originally the only thing that hurt and now my throat really doesn't hurt i know it'll hurt again in the morning but right now it's just like the extreme headache the extreme body aches i'm just very congested so i probably just have like a common cold to be honest but i just feel terrible and it just sucks because today's actually supposed to be like a very exciting day. I actually just like five minutes ago submitted my last assignment for my freshman year of college. So I officially have gotten through the first year of college, which is obviously exciting. And if I could, I would be like celebrating right now, not actually celebrating, but it's kind of like my first day of summer, you know? I mean, tomorrow will actually be my first first day of summer. But technically, like, summer just started, like, five minutes ago. And I'm sitting in my bed with my cats. Sick. Also, it sucks because my boyfriend will be gone for this next week. So I'm just, like, kind of stuck sitting at home by myself until I feel better. 
but I did just submit my last assignment. I have been working on it all day. It was like a paper that I had to write, which I shouldn't have waited to do it until last minute. I have just been so over school recently that I've actually started like doing some of my like last assignments very, very last minute. So yesterday I actually had a seven page paper due along with a presentation. I did both of those yesterday and today I had a five page paper due and I wrote six pages just cause and I did all of that in one day. So the last two days I have just been doing assignment after assignment after assignment and I'm so glad that I finally have a moment to relax and the first thing that I'm going to do right now is go take a bath. I literally feel like my brain isn't working, so I kind of feel like what I'm saying like isn't really making sense or I'm just like burned out from doing homework for like the past 48 hours or maybe I'm just sick, but I need a break and like I'm like really sick. Like this is my bedside table right now. So I'm really upset because today was supposed to be a very, very good day. We were supposed to get so much done and we were supposed to be able to have fun tonight and none of that got to happen. I am upset, but I'm not that upset because school is officially over and I literally won't have to do another assignment for like three to four months. So I am thrilled. So that is it for this segment. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, again, I apologize. I sound and look terrible, but I swear the next time you see me, I will look a little bit and sound a little bit better than this. So thank you for watching my little TED talk. I forgot the green chilies for the soup. It still tasted good, but it was missing that little bit of kick that the green chilies give it. I feel like I've kind of been at a loss lately of finding good shows to watch on like Netflix, Hulu, that sort of thing. I've been enjoying The Last Thing He Told Me on Apple TV that uh, has Jennifer Garner in it and it's based off of the book which I had read. That's really good but you gotta wait new episodes come out for that on Fridays. I tried to watch Beef, didn't like it. Tried to watch that one show on Amazon called like Class of something. I don't know, a bunch of girls um, at their like reunion. Didn't like that. Oh, I did watch Thursday the final episodes of Firefly Lane came out and I loved the actresses, Katherine Heigl and then that one girl. I can't think of her name, the other girl, but I really liked Firefly Lane. But I will be completely honest. I binged through all the final episodes and I fast forwarded through all the parts where they showed the girls from when they were in high school. I just, I just didn't get it. I remember even watching season one and kind of feeling the same way. Like I, I caught the gist of it, like how they first became friends and Tully's mom and her problems. Like I watched some of it, but I just fast forwarded through a lot of those like older pieces. And then, um, you know, there's there's several different time frames, probably like four of them, honestly. Uh, this last batch of episodes were the best of all of them. It's so good. It ended so good. I ended up staying up until 2.30 in the morning Thursday night to finish them. And mind you, take into consideration that I did, like I said, fast forward some parts. But when I was done watching, I was so anxious and it took me a while to like take some deep breaths and calm down because it's a freaking emotional roller coaster. Um, the show in its entirety deals with a lot of like trigger warning type issues, drugs, alcoholism, um, cancer, there's a really bad car accident, I'm trying to even think of season one, there might even be more than that. So if you haven't watched it yet and you want to check it out, it's on Netflix. It's not like my favorite show, like I like Ginny and Georgia better, there's a lot of shows I probably like better, but I'm just saying like it's, it's a pretty good show. This is why I read so much, because there really isn't a whole lot on TV that I care to watch these days. If you follow me on Instagram, which is Our Family Nest, by the way, um, I have a highlight bar of like movies and TV series 
that I've watched, good and bad. And I started, like I did one for 2022 and I have a new one for 2023 because I post like that often about different shows and stuff. Because that's what I do in my free time. I am quite the homebody and I read or I try to watch something on television and beans I'm a night owl. I get up in the morning and if I'm working and whatnot, come about nine o'clock at night, I'm in bed doing one of those two things and I'm up usually till t a typical night's probably about 1 a.m. So it's a lot of hours of free time, honestly. And now in the summer, I feel like it's less because you know you're outside later and stuff anyways if you have any good recommendations i hear some people are really enjoying jury duty it's a show on amazon prime i don't know if that's any good i haven't checked that out yet but if there's anything else new that's out because i feel like i'm pretty up to date anyways that is going to be it for this video i literally just cannot believe carly is done with her first year of college already i'm sure it doesn't feel like this to her but to me it feels like it flew by and she just has had great teachers has gotten such good grades like I'm impressed. She's just doing such a good job and makes it seem so like easy breezy. Like don't get me wrong, she's doing homework or taking tests and all that stuff. Like writing papers is a lot of college. Um, it keeps her busy, that's for sure. And she's done with school until August. So it's like, let the summer break begin. We get to do more fun stuff together. All right guys, we'll be back here on Friday. See you guys then.